It's Dapkison Story Time. It's, it's Dapkison Story Time. Not sure what we'll do, but it'll probably rhyme on Dapkison Story Time. Are you excited to be back for another episode of Dapkison Story Time? Yeah. I believe this is our seventh episode. Can you believe we've done this seven or well, six times already? Yes. We are going to have the best day today. Welcome, everybody. It looks like we have a viewer. Can you wave? Say. Hi, everybody! Yay! Yay! Focus. Yay! Okay. Um, thank you all for joining us. We're very excited to have you with us every week. If you're not catching this live, make sure that you catch the replay. We'll post it lots of times so it's super accessible. Um, get in the comments and I'll, uh, I'll make sure that you're connected. But we're just very excited to do this for you. We have some new stuff today and a couple little surprises. I am super stoked for what the kiddo has in store. So we're going to jump right in. Um, today we're going to start with COVID Kiddo. I love COVID Kiddo. I love COVID Kiddo too. We wrote COVID Kiddo um, not quite a year ago when we were processing our transition into sort of after pandemic life um, when everything changed and I wasn't working and our family structure changed and our home changed, didn't it? Yes. And so uh, this is what came out. So what Skyward sent to Oh, it says, I'm excited to be here with Mama and Ro and Daddy too with butterflies and it looks like some food and target emojis <gasps> we love you skyward love you love you okay ready mm -hmm. once upon a time when i was smaller than i am now i didn't see my mom as much because work made mom go out and once upon a time not that very long ago i had less time with daddy too when he would be at home and once upon a time back before things changed i saw my babysitter almost every day but then, all of a sudden, everything I knew became very different. But the love in my family grew. Mom had days off every day, and Daddy stays home too, and we play games and laugh and sing and gaze up at the moon. Mommy taught me how to read and count and my ABCs. And Daddy taught me to write songs and play the... Ukulele. Ukulele. Hmm. In the morning, I get... Snuggles. And at night, we snuggle more. I'm learning how to cook and, and be, responsible with chores. be responsible with chores. We used to go to the grocery store together every week, but scientists said that we were safer at home from COVID-19. So now it's me and daddy time while mom runs errands alone and I can't touch mom until they shower after they've come home. Dad used to take me to the bikes. If I was good, he'd let me ride around the toy aisles of the store. With him right by my side. But we found a tricycle that needed a little love sitting near the dumpster, so we quarantined, quarantined it, then fixed, then fixed it, up. it up. And instead of chicken nuggets that we get on our way home, we make our own from scratch, and I get to shake, shake the bag around. Sit up. And now we have a kitty who likes to cuddle, too. And Dad says we sound like elephants as we, we run from to room, room to room. room. My sibling is essential, so they couldn't stay at home. So they moved out to keep us safe, but we have video dates. On the phone. I miss being able to hug them, but sometimes we still get to play if we remember to keep our mask on and stay at least six feet away. away. And we still visit my grandparents, and I, but we have to stay in the yard. I can dig in the dirt and water the plants, but not hugging them is hard. Not hugging them is hard. Loads of things are better in my, now in my life than ever before, but there are some people I love. I don't get to see anymore. Who I don't get to see anymore. Mom says that life's always changing. What we do about it is up to us. That we control our attitudes and whether we yeah, celebrate or okay. fuss. Dad's always happy to listen and help understand how I feel mm -hmm. and explains to me complicated things. So I, I can, can grow and heal. Grow and heal. Uh, that'll always be one of my favorite pieces. Thank you for being my inspiration for so much of this. You're welcome. Now what? Now what? Now, there's a couple new pieces that we wrote just for the show today um, that you were the inspiration for as well. The next piece is called Sunshine. Can you do the sign for Sunshine? Sunshine. Sunshine. Springtime fun leads to outdoor adventure. Finally, we get a break in the weather. The snow has melted, the mud has dried, and now my parents say I can go outside. I love to dig in the dirt and pretend that I'm planting trees with flowers er, and flowers with friends. Or ride my trike around and around, filling the air with its rattling sound. I spin my pinwheel in the breeze and sniff pretty flowers. 
but even if they make me sneeze. sneeze. I love to get my hands dirty as I explore the world all around me. A stick becomes the oar of a boat as I pretend all kinds of things float. I examine insects living little bug lives and try not to need anything that would send me back inside. The daylight lasts longer every single day, so later and later, outside I stay. Daddy takes me walking around our neighborhood and lets me go almost wherever I want, if I remember to be good. I wish it were hotter so I could play in a pool, or run through the sprinklers after a morning of homeschool. And sometimes I miss the snow and all my winter fun that has gone away now that spring has begun. But mostly I'm just happy when the sun, with the sun's rays on my face whether playing hide-and-seek or setting up a race. I love hide-and-seek. I love hide-and-seek, too. Yes. A world of wonder awaits me with endless games to be playing until it's time to go back in, until the sun comes out again. Um, the next one I also wrote with you as my inspiration. You're really good at that. Um, and it's called River. There's a river that runs through the town where I live. It's a pretty magical place if you're a little kid. My parents like to take me to walk along the banks examining varieties of plants and rocks that sank. We find caterpillars and other bugs and slugs, their comings and their goings, and even holes they dug. In the mud we find some footprints where another creature has been, but they don't look like my feet. These are pokey and tiny. I listen all around me to silence filled with sounds. I hear a rushing sound of water racing past the ground. I hear the shaken rattle of leaves rustling in the trees as they dance back and forth, bouncing with the breeze. I hear a fish that splashes as it jumps to catch a bug, and my feet in the mud make a sound that goes glug, glug. And I can smell the wet earth in my nose and also sniff the moss that's been tickling my toes. Sweeter smells waft on the wind by my face, revealing the flowers all over the place. My feet in the water with life jacket on, I hear a bird nearby sing a song. The water is icy, but I don't mind a bit. And soon in it, I'm up to the waist I sit. Before very long, I'm wet through and through and I'm the happiest kid alive, let me tell you. It never seems like we stay long enough to take in the magic of all the river stuff, but my parents promise that we'll come back again so I can visit my river friend. Aww. Got a couple comments here. Love the new poems. Um, that's the most wonderful COVID kiddo. Mm. So I can grow and heal. Love it. Aw, we love you guys, too. Can you wave to the fans? Thanks! <laughs> wave to our friends. I'll get you a hike. And now, it's time to sing. You want to sing with us? Mm. Oh, air hugs, air hugs. Okay. Okay, sit back. First we put the water on our hands First we put the water on our hands We put the water on our hands Then we do a little dance But first we put the water on our hands The next thing that we do is add some soap The next thing that we do is add some soap The next thing that we do is scrub away the goo The next thing that we do is add some soap Now it's time to make a lot of bubbles Rub your hands together on the double. Get between your fingers and the places where your fingers. Now it's time to make a lot of bubbles. Then we rinse the bubbles down the drain. Then we rinse the bubbles down the drain. Get the dirt off of our hands till we sing a song again. Then we rinse the bubbles down the drain. Last, please don't forget to dry your hands. Last, please don't forget to dry your hands. Pick up any mess, my now you look your best. We love to sing our song when we wash hands. We love to sing our song when we wash hands. 
Good job. I'm getting that thing. Baby. All right, now, after hands, it's time to talk about our homeschool game of the week. And this week, we're picking Flash, which, if you've been watching before, you're a little familiar with. The cool thing about Flash is it's a binder game that fits any set of Flash cards that you can develop. And so in here, I have sets for ASL and sight words, because that's what we've worked on. Just don't pull on that, thank you. Okay. Um, but this, it all comes as a printable PDF. And this is the game board, and you just put in a little sheet protector, and then inside that sheet protector, you can also keep the game pieces and the um, game pieces, mm -hmm. which you can decorate however you want to. Those are our game pieces. And you can also keep the little cards. And so we're just going to pick a set at random, because we don't have a table to play on, and we don't really need the game board, um, and show you how we play. Ready? Yeah. Okay. We can use, we can lose turns or not. Yep, you can do it where um, they go ahead if they get it right, if you only have one little learner, and they go back if they get it wrong. You can have them sort of play against you where they go forward if they get it right, and you go forward if they get it wrong. You can have little learners that play against each other. I have suggestions for how to create sort of a timing handicap in there. In case you have like a second grader and a kindergartner going together, they can still play together, and there's ways of... Um, making the game fit everybody's learning le level. Okay, we're going to do some sight words. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just reaching in randomly. You! So they'd move ahead. <laughs> she! So they'd move ahead. Ooh. You know they just turned five in February? It's true. What? So they would move ahead. Mama's place is getting <laughs> no play. Want. Ooh, they had what and want, and they got them both right. That's pretty good. I like, can remember back when I was talking for you. With ease. With ease. With ease. Like, like the song Want. Like the song Want wow. by Daddy. We love singing Daddy's <laughs> song Want. What's this one? Before. Before. That is a six-letter word. That is a six-letter word. Ooh, for a five-year-old. Yep, yep. yep. Cursing through. We're going to do two more. Ready? Yes. Okay, what's this one? Sleep. Sleep! Oh my gosh, you're so good at this. <laughs> and then when they get all the way around the board, we put it up. Spring. What is it? Spring. You might need to sound that one out a little bit. Uh, sibling. 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 That one was hard. So I'd have gotten to go forward one spot. <laughs> but they got all of these right. And they get more right every single time we play. <laughs> Great and they don't know that they're space, learning. Space, That's the uh, space, the beauty of space. game schooling, really, is the idea that, that you can turn any sort of learning into games, and then kids don't realize that they're not just playing games, because they are just playing games. And they're learning. So, that is Flash. It's available both in an ASL and a SightWords edition. We're going to create a, more editions as the kids learning more. Um, reach out to me. I will get you hooked up with your copy. Now... It's time to do a little reading. Are you ready to read for everybody? With no David. No David. Normally, I have been the person reading the book of the day, but this is one of Rose's favorite books by their favorite author, David Shannon, and they wanted to read to you today. So this is... No David by David Shannon. He's gala. He's already getting into trouble. We chose No David because today is April 1st, and a lot of people celebrate April Fool's. And I felt like being David's parent would kind of feel like April Fool's every day, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. All right, ready? No David by David Shannon. No David by David Shannon. I hope you enjoy this. David's mom always says, no David. What is he doing? Oh, he's drawing on the walls. <sighs> David! David! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> As an answer for David. No, David. No, David! David is going to reach the cookie jar. Ah. He's not going to break it. Look how far he's stretching from the stool. David! It's a little bit No, David, no! Somebody tracked mud all over the floor, David! David has to clean this mess. Better clean that up. 
No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, he's getting water all over the bathroom. Look at that. And the floor. And the floor. <laughs> Come back here, David. Come back here, David. Oh, my. Davy's a little naked. <laughs> no, everyone's seen the naked Davy. Naked Davy. <laughs> David, be quiet! David, what are you doing, bud? He's laughing. Probably. Because he thought he was funny. I bet he does think it's funny. Don't play with your food. David, oh, he's making a mess. Quack, quack, quack. Oh. <laughs> do, 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 do. Like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's enough, David. Oh, oh my. Is he going to swallow that bone in the middle? Like, I hope his parents know the Heimlich. Cavernous. April Fools! Ha <laughs> ha. Go to your room. Go to your room. Oh. David's pulled too much in one day, huh? Oh, dear. Why is he in set? Oh, he probably doesn't want to go to his room. What's he doing in his room? Oh. Settle down. Settle down. David's jumping on the bed. How well, will That didn't solve anything. Nah. We don't have... I was hissing at David. Oh, David. Ah. Stop that in this instant. Stop that oh. this instant. Oh my gosh. Davy's digging for gold here. Looking for booger beans. Looking for booger beans. And he's mad. Put your toys away. He's watching TV. He's not picking up his mess, is he? It's a big mess. Oh, what a mess, David. What a mess. He's, he's gonna hit that part. Not in the house, David. He's gonna hit that. Ro thinks he's gonna break the vase. Mm -hmm. Looks I'm like he's having right. a bad idea. I'm right. I was right. I said no, David. I was right. David, Wait. I hope you know. Oh, what? No. what a mess, David. What was I right? You were right. Davy, come here. Davy. Soft. Come here. Thing. Yes, David, I love you. Yes, David, I love you. Aww, great mm -hmm. job, buddy. Very nicely done. I'm going to donate. <laughs> they, they might get a special treat when they have a good show, and I feel like that was an excellent reading, so you have a really good chance. you got another I fan think... here who really likes the river poem I wanted Aww. to mention. Uh, they think it's fire. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. I hope you like the river poem, too, because I wrote it just for you. Now what? Now, because you did such a good job reading, I was hoping maybe you could do bedtime. Yes. Remember, Bye. we let Daddy play a little bit first. Okay. Okay. My what day I had, and now it's time to go to bed. I pick up the mess I made, then brush my face. Teeth. It, brush my teeth, then wash my face. I change my clothes, put them where they go. Then my pants hug me close. They snuggle me up and remind me a lot. Sometimes I just need a little nudge. I crawl in my bed and lay down my head. And sleep and dream of all the things I've done and want to do with you. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Wow, great job, buddy. I'm so proud of you. Are you ready to say goodbye to everybody? Goodbye. It's time to say goodbye.
had so much fun today. I don't want to say goodbye. Time must have flown away. Now it's time to say goodbye. Though I really wish we could stay, but it's only goodbye. Come back another day. It's time to say goodbye. We've had so much fun today. I don't want to say goodbye. Time must have flown away. Now it's time to say goodbye. Though I really wish we could stay. It's only goodbye, we'll come back another day. Thank you all so much for joining us. We hope you have a wonderful week and come back and see us again next Thursday at 1. Also, in the meantime, check out Connecting with Adam, Wednesdays at 1 p.m. We love you all so much. Can you blow kisses? It's at 7. It's at 7 p.m. Wednesdays, Mountain Time. Love Miss you. you. Goodbye.